King Boo knows body slam. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new YouTube series where I showcase, in my opinion, the coolest Kaiser ROM hacks ever made. This ROM hack was made by Noviso, a person that I remember from Mario Maker 1. Uh, he made incredible Mario Maker 1 Kaiser levels that were spectacular, flashy, amazing, some of my favorite levels. And this ROM hack was sort of made in that style. So let's get into it. I absolutely love the custom art and graphics possible in Super Mario World ROM hacks. Look at this beautiful overworld that Noviso made. All right, this is the first level Koopa Walkway. This level is mostly all stuff from vanilla Super Mario World, just put together in really awesome ways. So as you'll see, there's going to be lots and lots of shells in this used in really creative ways. Love how you can just pop them up in the air. Now you can't touch these two shells together or they will smash into each other and break. And a lot of Kaiser hacks sort of have a tradition of just being, being simple in the beginning and a nice warm up. And that's exactly what this level is. Uh, after, if you only saw this level, you would have no idea of the horrors and wonders that are to await in this, in this ROM hack, which we will get into shortly here. Alright, next up we have the spiny convo. You have to spin jump on it. It's the only way to bounce off of it. You've gotta go back and forth here waiting for that one across the bottom. You have to activate all the switches in order to build it a path to go across the bottom. Just in time for you to land on it more shell jumps. Now P-switches have been modified in this to make them a lot more like the P-switches in Mario Maker. Uh, in Super Mario World it's really hard to jump off of them but it was made a little easier in this uh, to make it it makes it way more fun to be honest. Oh, this trick is so sick. So you drop the shell mid-air and then spin jump off of it to hit the to reach those on and off switches up there. And one of the great things about the physics of Mario World is that you have a lot of control over Mario's jump height and so you can kind of modify it mid-air to for instance land on that shell right as it goes by you. Now we're starting to get cooking. But just you wait, it gets so, so much crazier with the next level. Those first two levels were both very fun, very awesome, but now is where things really start to ramp up. So this level introduces one of the coolest parts of Mario Run hacks, the ability to make completely custom things that never existed in the original game. In this case, Naviso has made a shell that is sparkling and upside down and allows Mario to ride on it like a skateboard. So after a triple shell jump off the back wall here, we're gonna get the sparkling shell and you can drop it, you can just jump straight off of it and ride on top of it. It's amazing and awesome. It feels so much fun to play with. And you can even put stuff on top of it. So we're going to grab a throw block over here and lay it down on top of the sparkling shell uh, while we do other things and throw those throw blocks up into the on and off switches to allow you to get through the gates right there. And finally, we're setting up a classic Kaizo trick here, a mid-air P-switch jump to allow you to get enough height to get to the goal. Let's go. Such a sick trick. And I just, I just can't get enough of these graphics. They look so good. All right, going into the springtime cavern. This is one of my favorite levels of the hack. It starts to get absolutely wild with springs. Springs bouncing off of other springs and you have to collide with them midair, bounce stuff off of them. Just absolutely awesome. Check this trick out. Yes, so good. And there's also secret exits. Well, as you'll see, they're not really that secret. Uh, by the way, the German text says, I won't die in baby shells, uh, which is a meme in the streamer Joker stream OK, uh, who this ROM hack was made for. And the joke is that you say, oh, it's so easy, I'll never die there. And then you end up dying there anyway, and it feels bad. But that secret exit leads us to the first P-Switch Palace. These P-Switch Palaces trigger blocks that are needed in order to beat the game. So this level introduces gray shells and gray shells can't run into each other, which is very nice. So normally um, when you're holding a shell, you have to be careful not to hit it into any other shells or it'll smash into it and break. But with these gray shells, you don't have to worry about that. And here we can just use this shell to clear the spinies. JK trolled, I actually got trolled while recording this because the shells don't go through it. They, because the shells don't hit anything. They don't even hit spinies. Oh. 
It is a Kaiser Rom hack tradition to include trolls somewhere in the hack. And I am very, very happy to see this one here. Nice job, Nobiso. Nice job. All right, so now we go back to the spring level again, and you get to see the rest of it. It is really, really, really cool. Love that bounce off the turn block. I'm gonna throw that spring. I love how the spiny bounces off of it, then do a midair spring drop. I throw the shell, land on it just right. You bounce the little Koopaling out of it. Spring falls, hits that other one. You bounce off of it. So cool. Absolutely love this level. And normally the springs don't bounce off of other springs. There aren't even sideways springs in Super Mario World. So all those are custom things that were added. And Yoshi can slide along that platform at the bottom, storing the spring for us. Then we spit the spring up there and here comes the midair. <laughs> that trick is very hard to do in Super Mario World, but it's made a little bit easier when you're moving faster. And so that's why that spring kind of gives you a boost so that you can kind of get far enough ahead to bounce on the shell while it's under Mario. Super, super sick level. So this next level has a very interesting mechanic. It has rising and falling poison water. And if the poison water touches Mario, it's game over. So everything you do, you have to keep in mind that if you touch that green liquid, you are dead. Avoiding that poison water is extremely hard. You have to do everything very precisely or whoops, the poison was too high and you're dead. So we're gonna bounce on that shell, go in and out of the pipe and get back to it. Next, we're gonna send that shell going, grab another one, hit it in the on and off block and get up into that pipe. Gotta hit the on and off block there again, juggle one of the shells while the other one's waiting, get into that pipe, send the shell along the bottom, get there just in time to grab it, get through these really fast before the poison water comes up, and then we're gonna use that throw block as it bounces back to get into the top pipe here, grab the shell, bounce on it twice, and get out of there before the poison rises fast enough. Let's freaking go. Such a cool level. Like the dripping sewer aesthetics just look really, really cool. The little eyes in the pipes. Love it. Love the attention to detail in this hack. It really brings it all together. Even that little custom ghost house icon is so cool. This next level is absolutely wild. All sorts of different kinds of boo rings that you have to weave in and out of. Look at that chain of ghosts. And what is this? Ghosts that follow the shell around. Ghosts that follow that shell around. Shells with ghosts. You have to bounce over to the right, wait for that shell, then go back over to the left so that the shell will then come finally back over to the right, letting you to get through. And we gotta wait for just a second here, back and forth, dodging the ghosts every time in the door. Let's go. We have our first mini boss of the hack. Watch out because King Boo knows body slam. <laughs> you gotta dodge him. He comes slamming down. And then in order to damage him, you have to use those shells, dodge the slams and wait for more shells to fall down. So here comes another one. We're gonna grab that shell. And what's this? Mid boss fight, we just keep on going. The level continues, we're gonna do a double shell jump. And now Boo is in the level itself. We are new in a new boss arena. Now we have to use these throw blocks in order to damage the Boo boss. And finally, the last shell hit. And there we have it. What an awesome ghost house, awesome boss. Absolutely epic level, really love that one. All right, we are out of the caves and into the snow. It's time for Snowflake Freeze. This level introduces a really cool snowflake that freezes you and freezes things that get stuck in it. So the shells will pause for a little bit when they're in the snowflakes and so will Mario. We also have another secret exit to get to a switch palace. All right, so the cool thing that this level adds is the fire flower lets you shoot fireballs that break the snow. Uh, so as that shell is going across the top, it stops on the ice flakes, and then we can get through by shooting fireballs there to drop Yoshi. And then you gotta clear the path out from the shell with fireballs there, throw two right at the end there, and beat the level. Really cool mechanic. I like it. And I love the snow backgrounds in levels. Look at that. It's so nice. Those snowy trees. All right, it's time for the green switch palace. Now this one's called motor palace because it uses a mechanic called motor skills. The way motor skills works is you can switch back and forth between a spin jump and a regular jump at will. So that shell that's going across the bottom, notice how it will sometimes get spikes. If you aren't in the spinning animation when, that, when you touch the spikes, then Mario will die. Um, similarly, if you are spinning on the shell, 
Um, you, if you are spinning when you hit the shell and it doesn't have spikes, it'll actually break the shell. So you have to go back and forth between those two as needed. And that can be quite tricky to do because in order to hold the run button and also push regular jump or spin jump, you either need to claw the controller or bring your thumb all the way across the controller uh, in order to reach the right part of it, which is very tricky. So again, those little snowflakes are gonna freeze the shells and that's, we can even like put a shell on it and bounce off of it like that. Or that shell's gonna go across the bottom and we're gonna stall just enough. We gotta break through the icicles to get to the on and off switch entirely. Such a fun level. And then for this final section, we actually have to dodge the icicles because if you get in them, you'll get stuck and you'll miss your ride. So we gotta do a series of higher, lower, medium bounces, whatever it takes to not hit the icicles. And we're through. Now for my favorite level of the entire hack, Storm Booster. This one is epic. The mechanic of this one is that there are these blocks that give you a boost. Yum! <laughs> and that allows you to do all sorts of fun tricks, especially flinging the shells at high speeds. Or flinging these turn blocks at high speed. Yum! Sick. Let's go. Oh, just absolute swag. Completely needless midair. Oh, we gotta see that one again. That one's so cool. I love the little snowman with the top hat. Yes. <laughs> yes. With a level this cool, you gotta include the swag. Love that one so much. All right. It's time for the bridge. The bridge is... The bridge just has all of the switch blocks from those switch palaces. And so if you got here and you hadn't found the secret levels, then you wouldn't be able to proceed. You'd be stuck. Not Butter Bridge, reference to the original SMW. All right, rope time. Gotta grab the ropes. But they fall really fast, gotta be careful. Oh, gotta juggle the shells. Wait for the rope. Real tricky shell jump down there, really low. Peace switch jump. How's bounce? Oh. Trolled! Oh. Unbelievable, putting trolls in a Mario fan game. What kind of person are you? And with that, we have sadly reached the final level of this ROM hack. But it is also the coolest level. Let's go, Castle Koopa Larva. So this level is also a motor skills level, so you have to switch back and forth between spin jump and regular jump. Note how the shell again will get spikes or not. We've got all the things. We've even got our friendly rideable skateboard shell. Boing. So cool. And the final boss of the hack. Who is it? <laughs> oh, I love it so much. <laughs> oh, Koopaling's revenge. Let's go. <laughs> so you kind of have to lure it around uh, so that it doesn't stomp on you because it kind of like telegraphs where you're going to go and stomps there. So you have to use that, you have to use that to kind of lure it around to the right place. And then we enter phase two. And in phase two, we have to ride on top of these swamps when you can in order to get high enough to bounce on the boss. Before the shell would always follow you, but here you have to follow the shell. And then the shell starts spinning. <laughs> oh, so sick. So you have to switch between spin and regular jump at the right time. And... That is it. That is the end of what I think 
is one of the coolest ROM hacks ever made. If you think there's a cooler one, let me know in the comments. Which one should I do next? Did you guys like this series? Let me know if you want to make more of these videos. I absolutely love Super Mario World ROM hacks. I'm also going to put a list of some of my own Super Mario World ROM hacks and playlists of people who have played them, reaction compilations, that kind of stuff. If you haven't seen them, it's a wonderful community. Um, make sure you check out the ROM hack race runs at Awesome Games Done Quick, a charity marathon where people race through ROM hacks as fast as possible. Also, if you want to see the best player in the world at this particular ROM hack, the world record for this ROM hack is held by a wonderful streamer named Shavda. Here is her popping off when she got world record. Woo, motherfucker! Huge shout outs to Noviso for making this. Super excited to see what he makes in the future. And if Mario Maker 3 ever comes out, definitely a creator that I will be looking forward to playing levels from. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. I believe, I believe, every day's a good day with pain. I believe, I believe, it'll bring a lot of good.